People are out here 3D printing homes. What the f y'all? How did I not know about this? So for starters, I recently got into 3D printing. I bought a Sovol SV06 3D printer. I bought that one because it has an auto leveling bed. It has the spring metal. It's got an all metal hot in and an extruder. It's not a boat in style. It doesn't have the tube fed. It's it's direct drive extruder. That's besides the point. I got into 3D printing a couple years now. I've been watching it and just being like, you know, I have a lot of use cases I could use for that. Mostly it's Jesus Christ. Something like this. It's not something I needed, but it's a sword. It just collapses. And I thought, that's cool. It's very loud. It's very, very loud. It's really cool when I sit there and I just pull it out, push it in on my desk, because it looks like it's coming in and out of the desk. Now, I'm going to put that away because it's super loud. But yeah, I, I got into 3D printing. I thought it was really cool. I'll post a link down below to both the printer and to printables where you can find a lot of 3d prints already pre-made for you to use i've been into the makersphere and 3d printing is like my big in right now right so i don't know how i've missed that you can 3d print a house that seems like something that should have been presented to me by my government agent assigned to listen to my phone hate this place why why haven't you told me about this agent taste your stink it's repulsive i saw it finally last night on tiktok of all places because i never even open tiktok unless i'm uploading a video to it i never see it so i never open it somebody sent me something on it i checked it out and then the next video up was concrete being poured just nip, 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 nip. and i was hooked I couldn't stop watching it. Couldn't get enough. I ended up on YouTube watching Shelby Church, uh, Matt Reisinger, um, Belinda Carr, Jarrett Gross, and a, a few other people, Insider Art, some Today articles, things like that, about 3D printed houses. They could print the shell of a tiny home in about 24 hours. And it, looking at it, you can see how, you know, it's very possible. But then I, I, I started going even deeper into this and what... What are the benefits? What is this going to do as far as can traditional construction is concerned? And well, it, it is going to be a viable option. The cost of a lot of these places has actually been a little less than it costs for a construction crew to come out and stick build a home, but big, but is it going to last now with concrete? There's been concrete form buildings forever. In fact, I worked at a mill. And all of our buildings were concrete forms. Some of them had been there since 1967. Yeah, they have to be patched up every now and then. But if you look at how they're constructed, they're basically just being held up by each other and a few big ass bolts and plates and some rebar. Now, I don't believe that this is the final iteration of 3D printed homes. I think they're going to find a way to do it better and faster and for less money. And then it becomes a, a widely available option for for more cost efficient housing especially for the houseless so it uses less trees that's a fact right you're 3d printing a home out of concrete you're cutting down less trees so if you pr 3d print the story like icons doing in texas uh they're they're developing this entire community of 3d printed homes where the bottom story on right on top of a concrete foundation is printed and then the next story is a stick built kind of a frame looking building on top of it. And it looks fairly nice and you could paint it. You could do whatever you wanted to make it more matching and more of a cohesive building. And I think that's the way we're going to go in the future. You th take into consideration temperature fluctuation. It wouldn't take much to keep these houses climate controlled. But man, as far as that, the insulation in this thing is, I'll say it again, it's, it's, it's second to none, man. We wouldn't want to have it any other way. So like you hear in Jarrett Gross's video where he goes to somebody who's lived in their 3d printed home for over a year, their efficiency, their energy efficiency is second to none, but they had to cock around the entire house. That's a lot of call. <laughs> all the cock Up where the 3d printed section joins the wood section because they had insects coming in and out uh, we end up caulking the entire underneath the house 
all the way around, around the entire house so that we could keep bugs out. Well, when we first moved in, we were having uh, some bees flying in and out. So And so if insects can get in and out, so can air, right? So if you've got, it's a hot day and you've got holes in your home, you're going to get warmer than need be, or it's going to cost a lot more money to cool the house down. Yeah, so adding solar panels to to these 3d printed homes is an amazing idea you're already trying to build with a more sustainable option you might as well use sustainable energy while you're at it T pop a couple solar panels on that before we got in it took us a couple months before we got the solar started our bill was about 260 or so around there for a couple months or so as soon as we got the solar that thing dropped to about 46 down to about seven 12 so it fluctuates in between like 15 bucks once they did all this it's more energy efficient than any place i ever lived in. check out shelby church's videos she does short form and long form tours of 3d printed homes i do think moving forward this is the next iteration in home built like if they can get the cost down where it's less than a construction crew coming out and doing stick build homes. Granted, you will still need a construction crew, an electrician, an HVAC person, a project planner, but you need somebody who can run the equipment and dial it in and can see, hey, this form's going over a little bit to the left on this pass. We need to bring it back. In reality, it looks like they don't use like somebody to, to level out anything. They just, they just dial it in as they go and then it works. It just works. You know, obviously they have some failures here and there and they're using it more than just for homes. Like what they used to use foam to, to make you a uh, waterfall for your pool, for those rich folks that can afford that sort of thing. If we go this way, I think they definitely need to get it dialed in and make it to where, okay, the homeowner is not going to have to cock around all the holes that, that are left. The people doing the construction are going to test that and check everything to fill the holes in in their house it's not it's not ideal right you're not like feeling good that you you had to buy a bunch of caulking to make sure that bugs and air don't get into your home overall this is cool as hell like just watching it just watching i wish there was a 24 7 live stream of every 3d printed home being built in the world I kind of wish there there wasn't. Actually, I hope they never do that because my life will be over. I'll just be sitting there drooling on myself. Going, it's a, satisfying. Isn't that satisfying? Look at this. Isn't that satisfying? Look, look here. Look what's on. What, look what I'm watching here. Right here. Satisfying. There, it's satisfying. Right? Satisfying. But seriously, I think this is the way of the future. I've said that like four times. I need to stop saying that. But seriously, go watch all these videos that I've linked. This is... An amazing discovery and i think as it gets better and better and they dial it in this is what houses are going to look like and maybe they'll even figure out how to make it look smoother more and and make it accessible for people i find these very interesting if you find it interesting and you think that you would want to live in a 3d printed house let me know down in the comments what you think if you like the video, subscribe, click that like button, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, maybe share with a friend. I'm, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. You all know why everybody's trying to get to a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. That's what YouTube requires to get a little bit of money from them. So if you can, it helps. Every like, every comment, every subscribe helps. And I will continue to make videos as best I can. Probably two uploads a week. Moving forward, just let everybody know, I appreciate all of you. I've been RC360. You've been you. Thank you for being you. Look me in my eyes. I love you. Have a great day. And while you're at it, subscribe. No, don't subscribe. Fuck me. Just kidding. Just kidding. Maybe subscribe while you're at it. Who knows? You know, you know, whatever. Whatever. S you sustainable. Maybe go ahead. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Why don't you subscribe? Go ahead and click that little bell thing too. That'll let you know when I upload 
Hopefully twice a week, moving forward. Moving forward. My chair is breaking beneath my weight. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be uploading twice a week now, moving forward.